Hi kids! Today we will learn a unitary method for solving word problems. So let's get started. The method in which we first find the value of one unit and then the value of required number of units is known as unitary method. Let's take an example to learn unitary method. The cost of five chairs is given. It is $500. Then what is the cost of one chair? We have to find it using the unitary method. If the cost of five chairs is $500, then the cost of one chair is $500 divided by five. So the cost of one chair is $100. Now let's take another example. The cost of five chairs is $500. Then what is the cost of two chairs? Let's find it out with the help of unitary method. That is, we will be finding the cost of one chair and then we will find the cost of two chairs. If the cost of five chairs is $500, then cost of one chair is $500 divided by 5. And 500 divided by 5 equals 100. So, cost of one chair is $100. So kids, we have calculated the cost of one chair. Now, calculating the cost of two chairs is easy. Multiply the cost of one chair with two to get the cost of two chairs. 100 multiplied by 2, we get 200. So the cost of two chairs is $200. So this is unitary method, where we find first the cost of one item and then the cost of desired number of items. Now let's take another example. The cost of three pens is $9. Where is the cost of two pens? Let's find it out with the help of unitary method. That is, first find the cost of one pen, and then find the cost of two pens. If the cost of pens is $9, then cost of one pen is $9 divided by 3. And 9 divided by 3 equals 3. So cost of one pen is $3. Now, we have the cost of one pen. Cost of two pens will be cost of one pen multiplied by 2. And cost of one pen is $3. So 3 multiplied by 2 equals 6. So Cost of two pens is $6. Now, let's take another example. The cost of four books is $120. Then, what is the cost of three books? Let's find it out with the help of unitary method. That is, first we will find the cost of one book, and then we will find the cost of three books. If the cost of four books is $120, then the cost of one book will be $120 divided by four. And 120 divided by four equals 30. So the cost of one book is $30. Now we have calculated the cost of one book. So we can easily find out the cost of three such books. It will be 30 multiplied by 3 equals 90. So cost of three books will be $90. Now let's take one more example. 360 rose plants can be planted in 20 rows. Then how many roses can be planted in 15 such rows. Let's find it out with the help of unitary method. That is, first we will find how many rows can be planted 
in one row. And then we can easily find out how many rose plants can be planted in 15 such rows. In 20 rows, 360 plants can be planted. So the number of plants that can be planted in one row is 360 divided by 20. 360 divided by 20 equals 18. So 18 rose plants can be planted in one row. So we have calculated rose plants that can be planted in one row. For finding rose plants that can be planted in 15 rows, 18 multiplied by 15 rose plants can be planted in 15 rows. We just have to multiply 18 with 15. 18 multiplied by 15 equals 270. So 270 rose plants can be planted in 15 rows. So kids, now you know what is the unitary method. You need to practice to learn the unitary method. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.